nice ones. I'll play with these guys a bit. Oh. I wanna put it in holes in my waders. Working through the Tosink and line, got the half and half on, probably be a clouser soon. I'm definitely the way to go for uh, any striped bass to take, slow and low, fluke, sea robins, bluefish definitely, I'm thinking the float line. So I'm going to work deeper and with the sinking line, and then maybe later I'm going to try some floating line, throw some poppers. And uh, just to join the sea. Sea robins so far keeping us busy. There's definitely bluefish around. So if I get wind of them, I'll speed up. Speed up our retrieve. And uh, maybe try some top order flies. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what the sea brings. That's how I do it. Wow, it just feels like anything could, it could ignite. There's tons of bait. There's like tons of bait out, so. I like to walk in. Oh, I like to walk in with the line. That's all I need. Let that fly sink and do its magic. All right, working the claws are here. a sea robin I'm pretty sure I know there are definitely blues around there's tons of bait tons of bait I might go to the floating line soon I I'm just kind of having fun with the rod fly fishing here looking a bigger chartreuse clouds there Working it deep and slow at the moment. And uh, there's tons of bait. Something could it feel just feels like it could ignite. And fairly, fairly a bit of a stiff wind to the casting side. So it's alright, we can get out all we need to have to get out. So I'm not worried about that. Definitely liking this line better. Uh, it's like an old out blitz right there. one today. Okay. Got it here. I'm definitely I'm getting a feel of the rod and flies again. I'd like to see a big blue. Sea robins are hitting they're keeping us busy. There's definitely no telling what we're gonna get with this no telling what we're going to get today. No telling at all. Thank you, Ron, again. It's beautiful, beautiful lightweight rod. Just perfect. Right now, just throwing a half half. Maybe some clousers. I might switch over to the floating line later. See how he does that. Nine weight. And get my fly going. Uh, might switch over to the floating line later. I'm gonna work through with a banger a little bit and work this on top. See, blues are definitely around, so I'm gonna see if maybe I get some the attention of some something to see. I'm working and I got a sink tip light on, line on, which is fine. The fly is gonna float, and you can work it on top. And what I like to do is like a bite like this. I'll get some attention, cast it, and hope those, those fish see that commotion, work it short, and wait to see if we get that first strike and then get it in there good. So kind of just working the fly, but not working the fly, trying to get some attention in on an area, and then I'll work it like now. 
right through, hoping that that tension, that commotion, do some fish in. So kind of like come in the water. I'm literally slapping the water, trying to get the attention of there they are. They're in front of me, a bit out. Oh, oh, oh! They're right here. Took it, took it. All right. That's definitely a blue. I only got 15 pound mono on there. I don't know if you won't get off. Took the banger with the sinking line. I'm just kind of slapping the water with it. I'll pay attention and he just in and grabbed it. Wow. That's a nice fish. wild it's a long shank longer shank hook so Let's see what he's about maybe he's no he's a blue he's a blue we they were about fly fishing here Look to the sea robins I'm working whoa well, hopefully we got him hooked good and we can just play him I'm not going to break another rod, I know that. Thank you, Ron. It's beautiful. Like an action of this rod. It's bigger than that. Oh, it. Fighting hard, actually, all the blues this year are just insane. Right on my line. What a super tangle. Maybe I'll walk him back on the bank. I think he's tired now. Don't want to do that. Don't want to grab it high up on the bank. He wants that rod to just kind of bend. See how he's hooked. He's a great too. My leader should be fine. So I am going to. I don't want to. Just don't want to see. There we go. Jeez. He took the banger. Worked with a sinking line. Working with a sinking line. I'm going to check my leader. Leader's perfect. Smack that on the side. Let's go back. I'm gonna go back to the old-fashioned Clouser minnow and work this guy low and slow, maybe fast threads in between. I like the way the water's looking now. I'm gonna mess around with the float line a little bit. It feels really nice. I got a big Clouser on. Get it down deep. The current's a little slower here. I like how it's doing. Definitely feels raw. Feels great, but really. Uh, definitely a white call. Oh, I think I had a hit. Close in too, so I'm gonna flip it. Maybe. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, no, we had fun with the sea. Look at that bait. There's something out there, I know that. Kind of bait's actually. Um. Oh, wait, it's a sea robin. That's what I thought. He's, oh, he's seen me. But uh, yeah, just uh, kind of flicking, o flicking around. Uh, I'm gonna work, like I said, the floating line with it. And I got that clouser going. Just a little, little working it. See how the floating line plays. It's okay. I kind of like how the water looks now. Weird sky, weird 
wheels behind me. Give that line slack, that clouds a little sink. You give it, oh, oh, you give it tension. There we go. You give it tension, it'll it'll come up. So the sea robin. What big fluke? Oh, it was a fluke! It was a fluke! Okay. That's good. That's good. It was a fluke. See him. Sorry about that. Alright, we'll get a little more line out. Yeah, I like those lines. See that line coming in? It's a big model. Look at this. I don't know if that's a pack of blues or sea robin. Blues looking great. I knew I should have put on a copper. All oh, right. Wow. Incredible. I gotta change my battery too. I don't know. Oh. Oh. I gotta. My battery is a little last. 